The Kiel Canal is a canal in northern Germany. The canal connects the Baltic and North Seas, connecting the city of Kiel in Schleswig-Holstein with the city of Brunsbottel on the west bank of the canal. The Kiel Canal played an important role in connecting important port cities in Germany, as well as shortening the passage between the Baltic and North Seas. In the 18th century, Germany consisted of various small states that were politically separated. However, with the development of industry and trade, there was an urgent need to connect the Baltic Sea with the North Sea through a more efficient route. In 1777, King Christian VII of Denmark-Norway proposed the construction of a canal that would connect the river Eider in Danish territory with the city of Kiel in German territory. The main objective of this plan was to enhance trade between the port cities in the region. However, the plan faced several obstacles, including technical and financial issues. Nevertheless, the idea of constructing a canal in the area remained alive and served as the foundation for future plans. In 1887, German Emperor Wilhelm I issued a decree that initiated the actual construction of the Kiel Canal. The plan aimed to build a waterway connecting the city of Kiel in Schleswig-Holstein with the North Sea, passing through the Eider Valley. Construction of the canal began in the same year and involved thousands of workers and the use of modern technology at that time. During the construction process, Various technical challenges had to be overcome, including extensive earthwork, canal excavation, the construction of embankments, and the installation of gate water. On June 20, 1895, the Kiel Canal was officially opened by Emperor Wilhelm II of Germany. The canal has a length of approximately 98 kilometers with an average width of around 162 meters and a depth of about 11 meters. The Kiel Canal played a significant role during World War I. Germany used the canal as a safe route to avoid blockade attacks by the British Royal Navy, which dominated the North Sea. The Kiel Canal allowed German ships to bypass the more dangerous route through the Skagerrak Strait. This facilitated efficient logistics supply and movement of German warships. However, the role of the Kiel Canal in the war also had negative consequences. Control of the canal allowed Germany to maintain access to the rich resources and supplies in the Baltic Sea, ultimately prolonging the war and escalating tensions with the Allied powers. During World War II, the Kiel Canal once again became a vital route for German ships. The canal played a strategic role in the operations of the German Navy, particularly in maintaining supply lines and supporting the movement of German warships in the Baltic Sea. During this period, the Kiel Canal was also used by German submarines to enter and exit the North Sea providing them with a safer route than the Skagerrak Strait protected by the British Royal Navy. However, attacks from Allied aircraft and sabotage actions from the resistance movements also caused damage and disruptions to the canal during World War II. After World War II, the Kiel Canal became an integral part of Germany's transportation infrastructure. The canal underwent several expansions and improvements throughout its history to accommodate larger and modern vessels and increase traffic capacity. In 1974, a major expansion known as the Great Canal Project took place. This expansion involved widening and deepening the canal to accommodate larger container ships and reduce travel time. The most recent development occurred in 2014 with a 40-kilometer expansion in the southern section of the canal to enhance capacity and efficiency for ship traffic. To this day, the Kiel Canal remains a vital route for international trade and transportation in Germany. The Kiel Canal plays a significant role in influencing trade and ship transportation in the region. The canal serves as the main gateway connecting the Baltic Sea with the North Sea.
as a waterway linking important port cities such as Stockholm in the Baltic Sea and Rotterdam in the North Sea. The canal allows ships to cross the boundary between the two seas more efficiently. As an alternative to the hazardous route through the Skagerrak Strait, the Kiel Canal shortens ship travel time and reduces the risks of attacks and storms in the North Sea. This is beneficial for trade and ship transportation as it enables them to reach their destinations faster and safer. The Kiel Canal is equipped with adequate facilities and infrastructure to support trade and ship transportation. There are docks, ports, and cargo handling facilities along the canal, facilitating the loading and unloading processes of transiting ships. These water gates enable safe and efficient passage for ships. Additionally, the canal features water gates that regulate the water flow to control the water level and accommodate the height differences between the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. With the Kiel Canal in place, trade between the Baltic Sea and the North Sea becomes easier and more efficient. Cargo carrying vessels can avoid longer and more dangerous routes through the Skagerrak Strait, which would require more time and costs. The presence of the Kiel Canal also provides significant support for the maritime industry and tourism in the region. The ports connected to the canal become important maritime hubs, including cargo handling, ship construction and repair, as well as marina and fishing activities. Additionally, the canal serves as a significant tourist attraction. Visitors can enjoy the scenic views along the canal, observe passing ships, and visit maritime-related attractions such as ship museums and canal cruises. The Kiel Canal plays a vital role in strengthening regional and global connectivity. By connecting the Baltic Sea and the North Sea, the canal facilitates trade exchanges between countries in Northern and Southern Europe. The Kiel Canal acts as a bridge connecting ports in Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, and the Baltic countries. This provides better access to markets and trade opportunities for the countries in the region while enhancing economic integration in Europe. Overall, the Kiel Canal plays a central role in influencing trade and ship transportation in the region. By providing a more efficient route, enhancing accessibility, and supporting the maritime industry, the canal has become a driving force for trade, regional connectivity, and tourism in its vicinity. In conclusion, the Kiel Canal is an important legacy in the history of German transport and trade. Through continuous development and improvement, the canal continues to serve as a vital artery connecting the Baltic and North Seas and provides significant economic benefits to the region. This canal is clear evidence of how good infrastructure can play a central role in advancing regional trade and economy. Hopefully this video has provided a deeper understanding of the history, role and impact of the Kiel Canal. See you on next video.